Hi Derek. This is Corey from Watch You Seek. Greetings from New York, USA. Thanks so much for your offer. Um, and like I said, I'm glad that this will go to someone who's going to get it up and running and will wear it and enjoy it. I guess, you know, besides trying to, you know, save up for that Rolex Submariner that I really want, this watch, you know, I, at the end of the day, I don't think I was ever going to really just be willing to put the money into getting it refurbished. And then even so, I don't know how much I'd really wear it. I love the Omega Speedmaster, but, you know, besides the sentimental value, this isn't my favorite. <laughs> even Omega Chronograph, um, but yeah, so story behind the watch is my grandfather bought it for his brother, my great uncle, my uncle Sam, for his 50th birthday. So that would have been back in 1976, and he bought it here in Rochester, New York, at a place called Man's Jewelers. And I know my dad went with my grandfather to pick out the watch. And my dad said they were <laughs> choosing between this and a Rolex Daytona. And I guess this was slightly more expensive at the time, 1976, than the Daytona. Well, I wish they had chosen the Daytona. I'd definitely be keeping that. But <laughs> this is the one they went with. And I remember my Uncle Sam wearing this. He was a pilot, um, just privately, uh, not as a profession, but he, he flew a lot. And so they specifically got this watch for him because it had the tachymeter on it and he could, you know, uh, I think if, you know, some of his gauges were to go out, for example, he could calculate fuel and things like that. I guess just handy to have a chronograph. Um, up in the air, especially back then. So anyway, yeah, I remember, you know, Uncle Sam wearing this. I remember he would let me play with it when I was a little kid, and I'd press the buttons and do whatever. Um, he passed away in 1988, so quite a while ago. And my father inherited this watch and wore it for a while, and then it just got put into his, you know, sock drawer, as we call it. Um... And then years later, you know, maybe 10 years ago, when I got really interested in watches, I said, hey, you know, what was that watch, you know, you had that was Uncle Sam's, and what was that? I remember he had, like, a blue watch, and it was, like, a chronograph. And my dad said, oh, it was an Omega. I said, geez, are you kidding me? He said, yeah, and then pulled the watch out, and it wasn't running. You know, when my dad had it and was wearing it for a bit, it was running, but I don't know... It just stopped at some point. He doesn't know why or when. So as long as I've had it, it hasn't been running. And here and there, you know, considered getting it, you know, um, serviced, refurbished. But just never, I just never was really willing to put that money into it. Because I knew I probably still wouldn't wear it that much. I enjoy looking at it and thinking about Uncle Sam, but, you know this isn't my uncle and it's just a material thing so i think it's it's yeah good to sell it to someone like you and i hope you really enjoy it uh so again you know when you press the pushers they don't do anything it doesn't run obviously if it were running and so forth it'd be worth about double <laughs> the 1400 um seems like they're worth about 3000 or so running but it's got the original Omega bracelet. Uh, I have about a 7 inch wrist and this fits me perfectly. So hopefully your wrist isn't any bigger than that. Um, I don't have any extra links or anything for it. Um, so yeah, it obviously needs a new crystal but the, the dial appears to be in very nice condition. I don't see any, you know, like... Um, deterioration or corrosion on there but this um 
plastic crystal is very scuffed up. And here's a shot of the side. You can see the Omega emblem there on the crown. And the other side, you know, never abused or anything, but worn a lot. And then the Seamaster logo on the back, it was such a light etching to begin with that it's not it's not showing up well here under the light. It's visible, but it, it's very faint because it wasn't ever a deep um, etching or whatnot to begin with. You can kind of see the seahorse there. Uh, you know, some a little scratch there and stuff, but yeah. So, um, yeah, again, thank you so much. It's Saturday night here, um, and the post office won't open until s Monday anyhow. So, uh, yeah, whenever you can send payment, great, no problem. Uh, it's yours, so I won't be taking any more offers on it. And... Yeah, hope you really enjoy it. Thanks again. I'll snap a couple more pictures. Um, and thank you.